This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from TheKage.com and this is the TTL Soul Prime. The Soul Prime is also known as the Vodafone Smart Platinum 7 and although this is built by TCL from China, better known for its brand name Alcatel, they're not selling this under their own brand. What they are selling is the Alcatel Idol 4S which lacks the fingerprint reader but aside from that, it's almost identical. Compared to the Vodafone Smart Platinum 7, it has 4 gigs of RAM compared to 3 on this Vodafone one and the um, rest of the specs are almost identical. It's got 5.5 inches of QHD display, Snapdragon 652, and 32 gigs of storage, and 3000 milliamps of battery. So let's go right in, and here is the phone itself. So it's called the Soul Prime. This is a series of phones branded by SK Telecom, which is a Korean uh, telecommunication company. So there was Soul, and this is Soul Prime, which both of them are the Alcatel phones. So here is a packet where it includes the case, protective film, manual, and the SIM card removal tool, which we are going to open up right away. And including those cases is a very good idea. Although this is not exactly the premium or the best screen protector or the case that you can get from the market, having one right after you purchase your phone is a great idea for a initial protection. So here is the translucent plastic case and the protective film there. Always good to have an extra. And here is a little packet with the SIM card removal pin and the bunch of manuals, which I know that none of you are going to read. So we're going to just put it there. And here is the charger. So this, along with the Snapdragon 652, does support Quick Charge 2.0. And interestingly enough, it doesn't say Quick Charge, but says Quick Charging. But I don't know why they put it there. 5 volts 2A and 9 volts 1.67A. So you can see that it quite does support the Quick Charge. So you can fill up that battery, even if you're very low on that juice. And here is a micro USB cable. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the USB Type-C, which is reversible. And here is a JBL pair of headphones. Having a JBL logo on your earphone doesn't make it necessarily good, but still, it's a bit of an assurance. So here are the pair of earphones, and we can just open them up just like that. And that's some um, in-ear pair of headphones. And yeah, looks pretty solid. It's got a button and presumably a microphone built into it. So that's the JBL pair of headphones. So we are going to put it there and move on to the phone. So here is a Soul Prime or the Platinum 7, as you might have called it. And here's a 5.5 inches of QHD display, 8 megapixels of a front facing camera. And here, these are the dual stereo speakers. And on the right side is the power key along with the volume rocker. And on top is the earphone jack, which is not my favorite spot, but still it does have one. So I guess we have to count that for the effort. And there is a secondary microphone. And on the left, this is called the boom key. This is going to take an appropriate action depending on what you have set it to do. This is basically a shortcut key. And here's a SIM card tray where you can also put a micro SD card along with the nano SIM card. Here on the bottom is a micro USB port where you can charge and sync your data and uh, microphone there, and that's pretty much it. The whole phone is built out of metal and it feels pretty nice. It feels very solid, and although it's not a premium phone, it does feel pretty good in the hand. The build quality is actually pretty solid. I'm surprised to see that. Here's a fingerprint reader and the camera, 16 megapixels. It is protruding a little. There is a little bit of camera bump. It's not that annoying. There is a dual tone LED flash, and here is a Soul Prime logo, where in the other places, of course, you might see a Vodafone logo instead of the Soul Prime logo. And that's pretty much it. So without further ado, we are going to power that on by pushing that button there. And with that Alcatel logo, we are going to go through the settings. All right, so we're done with the settings, and here we are with the launcher. Unlike the most of the Chinese phones, it, the TCL phones do have the app drawer button there, so you can see all your apps there, or you can make the icons or the apps that you want to stay on the desktop. So that's it, and let's go through the settings, and it is running the Android 6.0.1 Android Marshmallow with the security version of November 1st, 2016. We hope that does get updated as we get connected to the internet. And the user interface doesn't seem too much different than the vanilla Android experience. It is definitely a lot more white and a lot more colorful thanks to those icons and the color themes, but um, it doesn't seem like too much of the customization was done to the vanilla Android. The lock screen there was pretty 
uh, vanilla Android ish. And let's go through the dialer and that's it. And the camera, everything is there to make the phone work as expected. There is even some manual photography options there. ISO shutter speed, white balance, and the exposure measurement. And you can, of course, take your photo auto as well. And that's the pretty much the basics of the Soul Prime. The Vodafone Smart Platinum 7. So this is a pretty mid-ranger phone. It costs about 400 bucks, 399, 400-ish, and it's not that expensive. While it does have a pretty decent spec, Snapdragon 652, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and you can even expand that further. And 3,000 milliamps of battery. I would definitely like to call that a decent specs. It also has an aptX HD support, which is not very popular now. And the fingerprint reader, shortcut key, quick charge, dual speaker. Yeah. That seems like a great spec. But of course, specs is not the only thing that matters for the phone. There are also software stability that matters a lot. So we'll take time using this guy and see how it performs in real life. And we'll be able to tell you more about this cheap but nice spec device here. Thank you all much for watching. We hope it helped. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. We'll be back fairly soon, hopefully. And thank you all much for watching. You can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Ciao.